welcome students to the online NPTEL course Contemporary Architecture and Design. In the previous class we were discussing about uh, expressionism, before that we, uh, start, uh, we discussed uh, inter uh, internationalist movement. So internationalist movement was almost at the end of um, the first phase and the next uh, phases started. Uh, next phases of uh, modernism uh, started evolving. So in internationalism we have seen that uh, a particular design style was there which is uh, like uh, the material should have its own texture and um, color so that it won't be painted and uh, then it will the uh, building uh, will be uh, will look lightweight so uh, there will be a long cantilever and uh, the color which will uh, uh, be used which is um, uh, mostly uh, will come on the neutral color palette which is uh, mostly white and black and sometimes gray and uh, steel was used and the, uh, it will be expressed from outside uh, through the pilotes and uh, structural members. Now in the internationalist uh, movement uh, uh, was uh, as we were discussing earlier, it uh, got carried forward in the later uh, modernist movements and but with the, uh, some iterations. Now we will discuss the, in the uh, we are coming towards the next phase which is uh, uh, as we were see, um, seeing it as a monolithic which is um, form here if you look at. So we have covered this and now we will discuss this um, uh, second phase. So second phase if, if you uh, see there is just only one style which is uh, I am calling it monolithic but it can also be an extension of internationalism. But in internationalism as we have seen that uh, this is a free uh, flowing amalgamation of different kind of cuboids and uh, the form will be a fusion of cuboids li like we have seen in the Francois house and um, uh, Johnson house and uh, but in monolithic there is a particular form. So form is again having a little uh, bit more emphasis than internationalism and uh, based on the form uh, these internationalist style can be broken into a micro uh, category which is uh, like a cylindrical form and then uh, cuboidal form and uh, which also can be something modular. So modularity also started coming. So we, uh, uh, we were discussing that in internationalist movement like jo uh, George Nelson in his concept of meta design how modular furnitures and interior designs came in uh, internationalist movement. So with that modular approach, so one particular form can be repeated and it can uh, create a, a grape bunch like form but a particular unit or the module will be uh, same and that will be repeated. And there can be a particular um, uh, proportion in the form uh, or the rhythm in that rhythm that uh, particular uh, module can be um, uh, scaled up or scaled down that is also there in uh, different kind of. Uh, so all these experimentations happened with the inter uh, international style in this um, phase 2. So in the phase 2 um, as if you look at so this is a building from this uh, phase 2 which is um, also kind of internationalist and this is a building uh, from uh, the pure internationalist movement which is uh, Villa Savoy by Le Corbusier. So if you look at this uh, form uh, of uh, uh, this is uh, designed by Oscar Namier. We will discuss this building in um, uh, today uh, itself. So here uh, if you look at so two different um, dome a part of dome is one uh, is upside down and one is um, uh, like a proper dome is there and two exactly similar volume of cuboid is creating as a is uh, acting as a mirror of two different um, uh, domes. So we will discuss this and this is in the Brazilian how Oscar Nemir have uh, developed this concept and uh, so we have see, uh, we, uh, but also you can see some similarity on the visual look and feel. So it has also has a uh, similar kind of color tone so no other different kind uh, different colors are splashed on the top of this and uh, the form is very simple and geometric and uh, no curves and other um, punctuations were added here. Now if uh, when we were discussing internationalism uh, you know, we have also seen uh, the furnitures how furnitures were there even when uh, we were discussing Noguchi's furniture and how Noguchi's furniture got influenced from the streamlining. Now if we look at this uh, go back and uh, uh, let us look at this so this also came after this after, after the phase 2 where Erosarinon is experimenting more. 
uh, with the form uh, with uh, the um, stem, uh, shell structure and also there is uh, experimentations with the tensile structure uh, which is mostly with, uh, with the steel. So, uh, this steel and concrete uh, uh, concrete's power of uh, construction power was um, uh, used as well as the aesthetics, uh, uh, they have also uh, explored the aesthetics uh, of the form. So, it was not just a cuboid uh, which was there in the internationalist movement. So, gradually the, again uh, from the internationalist style we were uh, the form is uh, getting its uh, more emphasis in the uh, these phases. Now, if you look at the furniture design, so this is Lake Obusha's uh, chair, this, um, uh, uh, this is uh, Van der Rohe's Barcelona chair and this is also Lake Obusha chairs and then these two are the examples from streamlining uh, in uh, product design. So, streamlining in product design also has a similarity with the internationalist movement. So, here also we uh, see the uh, similar kind of color tone which is uh, black and white and the uh, material's own uh, color which is uh, stainless steel will be used. Uh, and it is functional, uh, the way uh, it is functioning it will be uh, visible, but in streamlining we will see a particular curve which is uh, passing through and that will create the form and which will blend with each other. So, it is not a pure geometric uh, box or a cylindrical structure uh, which was there earlier and uh, you uh, scoop out some volume from this box and the product is designed, it is not like that. Instead of that there is a curvilinear form which is passing through the um, throughout the product that will create the uh, form and here the ergonomics ha um, is having more emphasis than uh, the pure geometry. Here in this uh, sofa uh, the geometry is more emphasized, but uh, here if you look at the way uh, it will um, uh, the um, handle of this iron is designed, so it is evolved from the ergonomics and um, uh, many of the streamlining uh, uh, products are also in, automob uh, in automobile, um, uh, the aerodynamics um, um, uh, aerodynamic principles of auto um, uh, were also fo um, uh, followed and those uh, have given birth of this um, automobiles, um, uh, uh, the curvilinearity of the automobile. Now, if you look at the architecture, so this is the internationalist uh, uh, building which is Villa Savoy by Le Corbusier. This is uh, Ms. Uh, van der Rohe's building. This is also Ms. van der Rohe's building in uh, monolithic style and this is uh, Oscar Niemeyer's building. So, here on in this building you will see two of this uh, building which is uh, Seagram buildings are uh, complementing each other and this is uh, we have discussed how uh, this, this is acting as a, a fulcrum or uh, there is a bilateral symmetry, uh, visual symmetry between these buildings. Now, the uh, if we uh, uh, talk about the architectural features, monolithic form is one and unified geometric form. Now, if we look at this composition, so this forms might look at these are not one form, these are uh, four different forms, but if you look at the composition together, if we just delete this part, so this form, three of the forms will lose its in, um, its emphasis. So, uh, this uh, central uh, line will be uh, shifted to uh, the other side. So, if we are deleting this volume and then these two volumes are there, so the composition will be disrupted. Again, if you delete these or um, any other um, uh, volume, so uh, in the composition will again be disrupted. So, this is acting as a whole and so as this um, uh, building in Seagram building, so this is uh, in this twin uh, box is uh, kind of complementing each other. Now, uh, the form comes uh, before function, so function fits into form. Uh, so, there is other uh, connotation like uh, f a function fo uh, follows form, so that was not, um, uh, this was not connoted over here. So, form, uh, so I am not saying function follows form because that's, uh, that uh, is, uh, uh, that will come in the other different uh, design movements in uh, postmodern style. So, this is form is important because if you look at the form, so the form from outside is um, very rigid and that is the pure form and if you add something from the form in the form uh, or delete something uh, from it, so it will uh, the balance, total visual balance will be disrupted. So, the form is very, very important in this um, style and then depending on the geometric forms of these buildings are uh, categorized into different uh, clusters. 
so they were uh, just experimenting with uh, different kind of forms, uh, different kind of geometric forms. So it's not uh, biomorphic or something like um, expressionism, uh, um, like cave-like structure or some uh, some other kind of forms like uh, in organ uh, organic or prairie. Uh, those kind of forms were not there. So, it is like pure geometric forms were there. So, uh, visual language evolved from internationalism and extension of internationalism with uh, uh, in, in mid modern era. So, uh, based on these different kind of forms, uh, so these are the uh, we can uh, uh, categorize uh, these uh, buildings into different uh, uh, styles, which is box like, then twin box like. So, boxes will be cuboid and twin um, box will be two cuboids which are complementing each other or uh, twin uh, cuboids or twin cylinders can also be there. Uh, in Marina City, we will see um, some examples are there. Then it can be circle or, um, or uh, in dome like structure. Then grape bunch as I was uh, talking about that uh, the concept of modularity also uh, was there. So, one particular modu uh, module will be, uh, will be repeated. It can be a form based module or it uh, can be a structural canopy like module which, can, uh, which will be re uh, repeated and will create the uh, design. And metastasis, uh, we will discuss that. Uh, so, this metastasis is uh, based on a particular proportion. So, uh, in grape bunch, we, we are having a particular module which are getting added in different direction and uh, then uh, creating the final uh, design. Uh, but in met metastasis, one, uh, so this, these modules are getting just repeated. Uh, but in metastasis, it can be scaled up and uh, rotate it in different direction. So, that is the difference between metastasis and grape bunch. Uh, so, first is box, uh, in box we have MoMA New York uh, which is in 1932. So, this is also parallel to some of the uh, modern phase 2. So, this is designed by Edward Durrell Stone and Philip Godwin. And then Huntington uh, Hartford Museum, this is also by Edward Durrell Stone. Uh, this is uh, later this uh, term, uh, this uh, building's name is converted into two Columbus circle uh, because of its address. Now, if you look at the MoMA uh, or Museum of Modern Art of uh, New York, which is designed uh, uh, completed in 1932, which is designed by Edward Durrell Stone and Fidu, uh, Philip Godwin, uh, you will see some um, influence of internationalism. So, if you look at this elevation from this side, so this part is protruded outside to give that elevated and floating uh, look, which we have seen in Francois House. So, in the Francois House was also elevated and then there was this uh, platform uh, was over there. So, this also if you look uh, from this side is uh, has an elevated uh, and floating uh, uh, look because, because of this um, there is a cantilever. So, if you look um, uh, create a section from this side, so it will be something like this and the canopy will uh, be protruded like this. So, this is giving the uh, space for uh, the pedestrian as well and also um, uh, following the philosophy uh, which is taken from the in internationalist movement. Now, if you look at this part, there also is a canti uh, cantilever um, roof overhang on top of uh, the um, uh, this top floor. Uh, so, uh, this is also giving uh, an, an another anti-gravity look and uh, this is also a very thin member. Uh, which uh, looks from this side, from this elevation, which looks like this is again floating. And if you look from uh, 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 this uh, side, the material palette and everything is also matching with the internationalist movement and the punctuations in the uh, these roofs are also circular, uh, circular and going uh, to, uh, to a proper rhythm, which is uh, our international style. From the uh, inside, so there is a courtyard. Even in the landscape, if you uh, if you look at this, um, there's a ju juxtaposition uh, and play uh, play with a different kind of uh, uh, squares and rectangles. So there is no curvilinearity added, and uh, these squares and rectangles are one. Um, uh, sometimes this is uh, uh, coming. Um, this is becoming a water body. Sometimes this is becoming a green patch. And sometimes it's uh, uh, becoming some uh, uh, sitting uh, sitting area. So this is also uh, this um, uh, landscape is also blending with the uh, visual language of of the building. And if you look uh, this uh, from this side also, the materials are uh, again the glass curtain wall, which is uh, 
uh, which is a direct uh, con uh, which has a direct connection from internationalist movement and also if you look at this um, part so there is again a uh, solid and void is there and it's also giving a anti gravity look and uh, a very light it looks very light and not uh, so bulky uh, um, but though the mass is uh, big but still it has a anti gravity look now this is another example by edward durrell stone this is huntington hertford museum uh, or later it was uh, uh, it, um, uh, it's called uh, two columbus circle uh, if we look at uh, from outside this is also again uh, some um, uh, it's like a box and this uh, if you look at the facade treatment it is um, uh, quite blank and then uh, these kind of dots and uh, kind of illustrations were added and uh, and on top you see a little lighter punctuation on, on uh, top of this part but later this um, got modified and it's totally uh, different and cladded with uh, uh, a, a different kind of cladding and uh, so this uh, this changed the look um, uh, when uh, it got redesigned or the facade got redesigned now there's another uh, typology which is twin so in twins uh, it can be um, uh, the twins can be two different cuboids it can also be two different cylinders so in the uh, twins we have a few examples to discuss uh, so this is one uh, old world trade center which got destroyed in 9-11 um, attack so it was designed in uh, 1963 by Minoru Yamasaki uh, who was a Japanese architect and uh, the old World Trade Center was two different towers which was uh, of a same uh, volume now uh, the new World Trade Center which is called one World Trade Center so there's just one uh, tower which is designed by Daniel Libeskind so he uh, this this comes in a um, uh, complete different style which uh, which got designed recently this is uh, a post modern building which comes under deconstructive style but this is uh, this was earlier the earlier one uh, World Trade Center which was the twin towers uh, twin World Trade Center was um, uh, in this uh, style so this was designed by Minori Yamasaki where uh, there were two identical towers were there now those functions of two different towers were now uh, uh, recently combined together and a taller World Trade Center was designed recently so the next uh, example is a uh, lecture drive apartment uh, which is a, uh, again uh, designed by uh, Van der Rohe and the Marina City by um, Barton Goldberg which is in Chicago so this is the old uh, uh, World Trade Center where we have see, uh, we can see that uh, twin uh, towers are there uh, which is um, almost of the same height and uh, the same volume and just uh, one is just uh, protruding um, uh, um, outside and one is um, uh, staggered uh, uh, staggered inside so now in this uh, this was the first uh, design of the new world trade center which is designed in the uh, deconstructive style so this is clearly not a pure um, a geometric form so this is uh, that's why it's a uh, it's, it's not a modern building it's a post modern building later uh, the same architect daniel Libeskind designed this which is um, now we can see this world trade center which is also a deconstructive uh, style so the uh, here you um, if you see so this is not a cuboid so these uh, corners are uh, truncated and this is a distorted form of a cuboid so this is uh, this does not come under uh, the same um, uh, same stylistic movements uh, this was a much new and uh, recent um, uh, design, uh, design movement so this was uh, the earlier World Trade Center falls under this uh, twin uh, monolithic uh, style now this is Lakeshore Drive apartment which uh, 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 we were uh, discussing a little ago so this is again designed by Maze uh, Vendor Road so if we look at the plan so two uh, two of these apartments has a podium which uh, has a common uh, entrance approach and uh, this is one cuboid and this is the other cuboid has almost a similar looking plan but the uh, they are, they are uh, in a 90 degree angle so these uh, uh, so uh, the, uh, from this service um, uh, 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 service core so there is this corridor which is serving uh, six apartments um, in each each and every tower so if you look at this tower is going a little higher than this tower, uh, tower but they are almost of a similar design 
Now, Marina City uh, in Chicago, uh, which is designed in 1960, is uh, uh, Bartrand Goldberg's uh, design. Again, this is uh, the same uh, two uh, same uh, structure, which is uh, acting as a twin uh, because of its uh, similar look as uh, uh, has a uh, cylindrical uh, volume. So, in, uh, from this, um, uh, from ground to this. Uh, area this is uh, this is for the parking uh, so there's a ramp for the car parking and from this uh, this part this is a apartment if you look at so this building is uh, facing a sea but uh, if you look at we can see this uh, part of this car parking which is the lower uh, volume and again this uh, two uh, buildings are combined together with uh, uh, with a podium so these twins are uh, not just um, two different things so when uh, they are um, structure uh, the, the structure and the composition is mined uh, is binded with a with a uh, platform or the uh, the structure so they they come as the, um, they play as a uh, single composition now if you look at the um, apartments design so all these apartments are designed in the same way around the service uh, uh, service uh, central service core now, uh, on one side of this Marina City is uh, uh, the uh, lake front of uh, Chicago. Uh, so these, um, uh, uh, but this lake front's uh, uh, view did not change the Marina City's uh, design from uh, um, um, of of the lake front side or the other side. So this is how the internationalist movement is also. Um, uh, influencing it. So, wh wherever the context, uh, the context changes in the lake um, side uh, uh, apartments and the other uh, apartments, but the still design is the uh, same thing and the form which has to, uh, which uh, was maintained was uh, rigidly maintained, which was not changed in the lake um, uh, side apartment, this was uh, uh, versus the other uh, which is not facing the lake. So, there was no difference between uh, um, them in the in the, from outside are also from the form related um, uh, planning related thing. Now, uh, if we uh, look at the circles, uh, the few examples will be Olympic Game Stadium by uh, uh, P. A. Nervi, then um, uh, uh, the Panorama Building in Moscow, then Government uh, of Brasilia, which was uh, we were discussing. Uh, uh, Oscar, uh, Oscar Nemia's design. So, this can also be in circle also it can be um, considered as twin because, uh, because of its form and then roofless church by Philip Johnson. So, this is uh, PNRV's uh, design uh, which is uh, um, uh, Olympic Stadium in uh, Rome. So, you can see the structural uh, members and the structural elements are strengthening the roof and uh, PNRV was a um, PNRV's other designs are also emphasize, uh, is, um, uh, design emphasize the structure and how structure, uh, uh, the structural loads are flowing uh, through the roof and um, coming as a uh, this uh, this columns and passing through uh, to the ground. So this uh, uh, later um, these kind of uh, experiments were also done in the um, shell structure and tensile structure, which came later after um, these movement. Uh, now, this is another example on the, on the same um, domain and then this is um, uh, the central of uh, Brasilia by Oscar Nemir, which is on uh, the Brazil's National Congress building. So, this is uh, has a twin circles which is uh, up, uh, one is upside down and one is uh, in, the, in the normal uh, fashion. So, it is um, his philosophy was uh, the way, uh, so one uh, side it is capturing uh, the wishes from the uh, God and then uh, it is pouring in the field. So, it is like capturing uh, the um, uh, 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 everything good from the nature and then uh, feeding it in the uh, earth. And also we were discussing that it can be bilateral, uh, so because of the bilateral symmetry it can also be um, considered as twin. Now, the roofless charge, this is a small uh, structure by Philip Johnson. Now, Philip Johnson have also designed that uh, Johnson house which uh, we have discussed earlier. This roofless charge is, um, uh, uh, um, can also be considered as a shell, uh, shell structure movement um, in, uh, uh, in later phases, but uh, this also has a uh, circular form so, uh, and it is very simplistic. So, it can also be considered as um, uh, in, in this domain. 
So, um, and uh, f uh, bec uh, because of this uh, shale, str the formation of this uh, shale structure, this uh, 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 which got evolved from this monolithic style, uh, this got carried forward in the uh, later phases as well. Now, in the grape bunch, as uh, uh, I was telling you, uh, that there will be an, uh, a particular module will be uh, uh, will uh, get repeated and then uh, create the final form. So, a uh, few examples of grape bunch is US pavilion in New Delhi, which is uh, designed as a, um, a, a temporary pavilion by Minoru Yamasaki, which got demolished uh, after this uh, after the usage, and Itamarati uh, Palace, which is. Uh, uh, like Palace of Arches, which is again designed by Oscar Namier, which is in again Brasilia, uh, Brazil, and Kimball Art Museum by uh, Louis Icahn is um, a few example of grape bunch. Now, if you look at the uh, first example, which is U.S. Pavilion, so this is the unit of a pavilion. So this got repeated in different direction, and the pavilion got formed. So this was uh, designed in 1959 for uh, World Agricultural Fair in Delhi. So, uh, so if you look at this pavilion, so this was one unit, and then in different direction, if you uh, repeat this unit, um, so the uh, the uh, uh, the pavilions. Uh, uh, space got uh, in, um, uh, increased. So, uh, and this, if you uh, look carefully, as uh, de is depicting the Indo-Saracenic style of um, uh, Delhi, and uh, 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 like uh, the Taj Mahal's top or the Humayun's tomb uh, top, this onion-shaped uh, dome is uh, simplified in a much modern uh, way. And uh, this, uh, but uh, this onion-shaped dome's curve is. Um, there and it's uh, uh, position on top of a very uh, uh, the structural elements which are um, exposed from outside and uh, can be seen from outside. So this is a fusion between uh, between the uh, traditional architecture, how traditional architecture got the uh, was the inspiration be um, to design this kind of pavilion. So from outside, so this looks like a grape bunch and series of um, of similar looking modules are clustered together. Now, this is Itamarati pa Palace, which is um, uh, there in the Brasilia, uh, which is again designed by Oscar Nemir. If you look from outside, so this, uh, the roof of this uh, uh, structure has a particular module which got, re uh, which is uh, getting repeated. So this arch, uh, arch um, uh, like volume is the module, and which is getting repeated in the, uh, um, 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 repeated in this direction. And uh, so it's uh, the roof is getting elongated. So this uh, the uh, the main building is there inside this um, canopy-like structure. So this canopy is actually the uh, 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 coming within the grape bunch uh, structure. Now this is Kimball Art Museum by Louis Icahn. Louis Icahn has um, used this form of grape uh, grape bunch in many. Uh, different places like uh, for example IIM uh, Ahmedabad also has a, a particular module which is getting repeated but that comes under a different um, um, era which is uh, uh, brutalism and uh, we will discuss that later. But here if you look at the Kimball Art Museum a particular vaulted structure is getting repeated in different form and uh, this vaulted structure sometimes is uh, uh, getting squeezed to create a courtyard sometimes it's uh, uh, getting added with another volume of vault and sometimes uh, some parts are getting punctuated to um, uh, take the sunlight from outside as a, a skylight and uh, but together all um, a particular unit which is a vault is um, acting as a uh, the one unit of this uh, particular design so from outside also if you look at these vaults are um, added and that's creating the design of this uh, building but all always the vault is not used in a uh, uh, on the similar fashion because the function within the vault are getting changed so uh, that's why this vault is uh, uh, does not have any uh, uh, facades from um, uh, three sides so it uh, kind of uh, uh, it's the ending part and when uh, uh, people approach from uh, this side so this is uh, becoming a welcoming uh, form from outside and uh, gives a canopy like structure and the other walls are uh, used um, uh, uh, as a uh, as a space uh, for activity 
but within these walls are also uh, the activities are uh, different so within this uh, one particular vault can also be um, used uh, in uh, one particular module can also be used in a different uh, function uh, for example in this uh, vault uh, a, part, a part of this vault is uh, transformed into a courtyard and uh, so that within the uh, mu uh, museum uh, ample amount of light comes and sometimes two vaults uh, so this is one vault is using um, is getting used and then uh, sometimes the two vaults are getting merged together and on top of this vault if you look at so this part act as, uh, acts as a skylight so from uh, top the light uh, the illumination will come from top and that is a better uh, way of lighting uh, the art um, uh, objects which are getting showed. So if, um, if there is a fenestration from here, so these um, uh, objects which are there on the wall uh, will not be illuminated because light is coming from uh, behind this uh, object. So if it comes from top, so they will be properly illuminated. And if you look uh, in the elevation and the section, different usage uh, within uh, uh, within the spaces also, also can be uh, seen. So here also the vo uh, vaults are used in a different way. Now in metastasis, so metastasis as uh, we were discussing, so this will uh, have a particular proportion and within that proportion, some element or the facade treatment will be augmented in that proportion. So uh, this is uh, this proportion is designed by uh, Le Corbusier uh, in his um, uh, Le Modular. So this is called Le Le Modular by uh, Le Corbusier. This is a French term uh, because Le Corbusier is, uh, was a famous uh, French architect, and he um, derived this module, which is um, uh, like Leonardo da Vinci have painted Vitruvian Man, and um, Derived the, per, uh, derived the perfect proportion. So Vitruvian man was uh, is there in a in a square or also in a circle, and he de uh, developed uh, the uh, uh, the proportion of Fibonacci series or golden mean proportion. And uh, Le Corbusier developed this proportion called Le Modulo, uh, which is um, has a um, uh, has has a particular proportion within that and he have uh, followed this proportion in his sculptures and in his uh, uh, architecture uh, in, in his building as well so uh, this is a saint uh, mary Le, uh, de la torrette which uh, where in the uh, facade you will see the all this facade treatments and the fenestrations has a particular proportion which is de uh, developed from le modulo so all these um, particular um, um, proportion where uh, these lines uh, horizontal and vertical lines are going uh, has uh, 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 the proportions and the lines are coming from this uh, lines of Le Modulo. So uh, these uh, archi uh, architecture style of uh, the phase two which is a derivative of uh, internationalist movement now got carried forward in phase three so in phase three we will discuss few architecture styles in the uh, next um, classes and you will um, uh, see how these uh, uh, styles and these uh, features of phase two uh, internationalism which um, can be called as monolithic style uh, is transferred so monolithic in the in the uh, in architectural civil engineering term um, uh, is uh, connoted like one stone or one particular uh, cement molded structure so in here it's not the um, not, uh, it's not the same meaning it is uh, the monolithic here is a absolutely visual term so it looks like a one single form so when we were uh, discussing this um, oscar nemia structure so there are four different structures but together they look as a one particular monolithic form so here the uh, term monolithic does not mean that this is um, uh, derived from a particular one stone or one uh, it's not casted together uh, concrete casted together so it's like one particular form which is which uh, if you delete something from here or add something from here so it will the form will be disrupted so that's what uh, the monolithic term uh, depicts over here so it's uh, absolutely visual term now if we look at the influence so these uh, roofless church by philip johnson and pnrv's um, uh, on uh, Tim uh, Fienerwis Stadium is uh, uh, later translated in the sh shell structure of Aero Sarinens uh, and other um, Galatravars uh, uh, shell structure and tens uh, tensile structure. And then uh, uh, this kind of uh, Marina City later 
uh, Marina City and uh, the Lakeshore Drive apartment we have seen there is a service core in the center and the uh, served spaces are on the outside. Even in the Marina City we have seen the service core is in the center which is uh, designed in a circular way and then this uh, different um, apartments were designed um, around it. So, these are the served spaces which has the same module. So, later in the metabolism uh, movement, so this service course were designed in a separate way and then served spaces will be uh, designed in a uh, say, uh, in which will be amalgamated around the uh, so, uh, so, uh, served spaces, servant spaces. Now, in brutalism, we will see in uh, metastasis uh, in uh, Lake Obusher, um, uh, uh, Lake Obusher's work, we have seen this exposed concrete because it's uh, Lake Obusher uh, was um, uh, have used this material of lake, um, exposed con uh, concrete in many um, places, even in the uh, Chandigarh's uh, uh, buildings, he have used uh, uh, exposed concrete which comes under brutalism. So, that is also there in the metastasis uh, movement. So, that kind of material which uh, was there uh, started evolving from metastasis also there in the brutalistic architecture. So, these um, few uh, uh, architectural features which were there evolving from the uh, mon uh, monolithic or the later phases of internationalist movement um, will be carried forward in the next movements uh, of phase 3. Thank you.